Well, convicted D.C. sniper Lee Boyd Malvo be returning to Montgomery County. Malvo is being held in Virginia in a prison there, but a U.S. Supreme Court order to have him resentenced mm -hmm. was the subject of a complicated hearing in a Montgomery County courtroom. That's right. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald monitored what happened today. Fitz, why is Malvo getting resentenced? Yeah, and that's a key question right. in all of this. The, the reason is back in 2012, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that it was unconstitutional to sentence a juvenile to life without the possibility of parole. Now, Malvo was 17 at the time of the D.C. sniper shootings that killed 22 people in 2002. He was sentenced to life without the parole. And even though he is 38 years old now, it was because he was sentenced as a juvenile that this resentencing will happen. The question today is how and when will it happen? Montgomery County State's Attorney John McCarthy told the court today there are several logistical and legal complications in sorting it all out. That includes security considerations and agreements between Virginia and Maryland's governors. The prosecutor who originally convicted Malvo, former Montgomery County State's Attorney Doug Gansler, tells Fox 5, even with resentencing, Malvo will never get out of prison. So the question today is, does he have to be inside a courtroom for this resentencing? The question is, is it necessary? I mean, in other words, a judge is supposed to assess his maturity, assess his capacity, assess his sort of remorse, if you will. And in this case, that can be done by video conference or it can be done in person. So the, the today's that, that was today's issue, whether or not he needs to be here in person for that resentencing. Now, Fitz, you actually got to see Malvo on a video link today. What did he look like? I, I tell you, it was a little strange. I had not mm -hmm. seen Lee Boy Malvo's face in, in quite some time outside of those mug shots we had. He's older. Mm -hmm. He's heavier. Uh, he wears eyeglasses now. He was clad in a yellow mm -hmm. prison suit from his cell in a maximum security uh, prison in Virginia. But he did not speak. Uh, throughout these proceedings today uh, while the attorneys uh, spoke with the judge about exactly how they will proceed. And uh, this is an open question right now. We mm -hmm. still don't know. Do you know if any of the, the victim's family members were able to weigh in? Did they speak? They were not at this hearing today. However, okay. John McCarthy, the current mm -hmm. Montgomery County State's attorney, did speak on their behalf, Angie. And what he said was that he has spoken dealt with these victims for years. Remember, John McCarthy was on that prosecution team mm -hmm. back yeah. in, uh, 20 years ago. He said to a person, the victim's families do not want to have to relive right. another resentencing in a courtroom with Malvo. Um, mm -hmm. But it appeared also clear from what the judge had to say, she is leaning towards actually having him physically in the courtroom and not doing this on Zoom. Wow, yeah, we know mm -hmm. decades have gone by, but for yeah. those families impacted yeah. by this, you Still know, the pain and the it hurt, um, every day. It, it's, yeah, it, it doesn't get easier. You never so. get a sense of closure. Thank you, Fitz. Right, thanks. Appreciate it.